Hi, I'm Kate and I'm a guest designer for Sally Tomato and I'm excited to show you this cute little project. I don't know about you, but I have certain pens and pencils that I like to use for my journaling, my planning, my sketchbook, and somehow I can never find them when I need them. So this little pouch goes perfect with every book that I've got, every journal or sketchbook, because it's perfectly sized according to the book. So join me and let's get started. First, let's gather supplies. You're going to need a piece of main fabric that can be cork fabric or faux leather or craft text or any other fabric that doesn't fray. That's going to be ideal because we're going to have raw edges in this project. Then you're going to need a single slide zipper. And I love the faux metal zippers by the yard because you can easily cut the exact length you need and choose colors of zippers as well as different styles of coordinating zipper pulls. These are available in nickel, gold, antique, gunmetal, and rose gold. Be sure to check out Jess's tutorial on installing all those different zipper pulls. You'll also need a length of fold over elastic. The elastic is going to keep the pencil bag in place. You'll also want a few helpful notions, a scissors or rotary cutter, sewing clips, chalk, or removable marking pen, basting tape or glue, a zipper foot or narrow foot, and a top stitching needle in your sewing machine. Next, refer to the pencil bag pattern from sallytomato.com and measure the height of your book and follow the cutting instructions on the pattern. You'll cut three pieces from your main fabric for the pencil bag, sides, and base. You'll need one zipper cut to the appropriate length and then cut one length of fold over elastic. Then cut two zipper tabs also from the main fabric. With the zipper right side up, mark a line a half inch in from both ends of the zipper using removable pen or chalk. Then you're going to place one zipper tab right side up over each zipper end, aligning the short end of the tab to the marking. Use sewing clips or tape the tab in place. Set your machine to a 3.5 millimeter stitch length, then top stitch each tab to the zipper, stitching an eighth inch and a quarter inch from the raw edge of each zipper tab. Secure the layers with basting tape, or you can use sewing clips if it's easier for you. With the zipper facing right side up, center one long edge of a side piece, also right side up, over the zipper tape. The zipper tabs will be a little longer, and that's okay. Approximately 1 8 inch of the zipper tape should be visible between the zipper teeth and the side piece. Replace the machine sewing foot with a zipper foot or an air foot, then top stitch an eighth inch from the raw edge of each the side piece. Repeat the same steps for the second side piece and the opposite edge of the zipper. You could trim the extending zipper tabs even with the side panels, but it isn't necessary. And we think the little tab extensions make turning the pencil bag a little easier in the end. Open the zipper at least halfway. Now center the elastic over the zipper, right sides together, and the elastic ends even with the side piece ends. Base the elastic in place using an eighth inch seam allowance. Now align the long edges of the zipper panel to the remaining base piece right sides together. Be sure to clip or tape the layers together. Stitch through all the layers with a quarter inch seam allowance and repeat for the opposite long edges of the zipper panel and base piece. With right sides together, center the zipper between the base seams, securing the layers with sewing clips. You're going to tuck an approximate half inch pleat in at each side, so a fold in the side panels aligns with the raw edges of the base seams. Secure those pleat layers with sewing clips. Now stitch across both ends of the pencil bag with a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn the pencil bag to the right side through the open zipper and shape the pleated ends so they look even. You can slip the 
pencil case over the front of your planner, journal, or sketchbook, and keep your place by slipping the inside pages under the elastic. Now your favorite writing tools are just a zip away. I love the donut zipper pulls because they give you more decorative options. You can easily add a sleek, coordinating fabric pull or even a dramatic tassel. For a fabric zipper pull, cut one piece of the main fabric, then follow the pattern instructions to shape the zipper pull piece. Slip the piece through the opening in the metal zipper pull, bringing wrong sides together. Glue the layers together, aligning the wider ends. You can then machine or top stitch or hand stitch the narrow and wide ends if you wish. And if you like the dramatic flare, let's create a tassel for your zipper pull. Cut one quarter inch by 10 inch tassel connector from the main fabric, then cut one four inch by four and a half inch of the main fabric. If you like a finer fringe, cut the connector in half, about an eighth inch wide, four inches in from both ends of the connector piece. Slip the tassel connector through the opening in the metal zipper pull, bringing wrong sides together and matching ends. Then apply a little dot of glue between the layers about three quarters inch from the zipper pull. Then you're going to mark the wrong side of the tassel with lines spaced a quarter inch apart or an eighth inch if you prefer a finer fringe, leaving the top half inch unmarked. You can cut with the scissors following your markings. I find I cut a straighter fringe with a rotary cutter, so I've taped the tassel piece to a small rotary cutting mat. This helps reduce the fabric shift while cutting eighth inch wide fringe. The tape at the top is covering the top half inch of the tassel fabric, so I don't cut into it. And I've got the bottom piece of tape that will be cut through, but it still holds the fabric in place. Begin wrapping the fringe at the back of the connector zipper pull securing with a dot of glue. Continue wrapping the fringe around the connector, applying glue as you wrap. End the wrapped fringe at the back of the connector or zipper pull. And if it shows, cut a little extra off of the fringe and your tassel is complete. I hope this project helps you keep organized and keep those favorite pens and pencils handy whenever you need them. This would also make a great little gift if you're giving someone the gift of a journal or a sketchbook. Give them the little pencil bag stuffed with all sorts of goodies inside, including those special pens and pencils that they might need. So thanks for joining me. Share photos of your completed project using hashtag Sally Tomato. We'd love to see how you're using or giving your pencil bags. And remember to subscribe to the Sally Tomato channel so you won't miss any future tutorials. Thanks so much for watching.